well, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the uh, trading session Wednesday, the uh, 4th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at the, um, the actual stats for the day. You have Asian markets up quite stellar, especially the Nikkei. The Nikkei up 2.5, a whopping 2.5%. Okay, so that's certainly going to help sentiment today. Let me just bring up the Nikkei for you. Okay, this needs updating. Bear with me one second. Let's just bring up the Nikkei. Let's see exactly where it stands. Bear with me. Okay, so Nikkei up 2.5%. You have the uh, Shanghai up a 0.7% uh, and the Hang Seng certainly weaker. Now I just want to see where the, uh, show you the actual uh, position of the Nikkei. There we go, Nikkei and the Shanghai too. There we go, okay. Okay, that should be fine for now. Okay, let's just bring up the Nikkei. Give you an insight here. Let me just save this as well for future reference. Apologies for this, I should have this up already. Okay, so the Nikkei. Okie dokie. So the Nikkei at the moment, daily chart certainly back at double top resistance now. Certainly is being helped by that USD JPY. Now, USD JPY certainly has topped out as well. I've got to show you on the USD JPY chart. Again, I don't have that. Sorry about this. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. I think I made some changes recently and that's why okay so here we go so you certainly have a top out on the USD JPY therefore looking for a potential top on the um, Nikkei as well okay so again circumspect the actual rally overnight and obviously given the fact that it's at double top for uh, 19600 currently after hours the Nikkei is currently trading around the 19600 level so certainly hasn't budged okay so again looking for a potential top here okay looking to, certainly looking very top heavy looking to uh, potentially move lower okay let's bring up the shanghai index as well certainly has bounced has been flushed as of late certainly is bounced certainly has bounced okay again it's in no man's land okay certainly argue but either side okay in terms of the uh, U.S. markets, let's just quickly bring up the uh, current status quo in the U.S. markets now. S&P 500 and the daily chart certainly is exceptionally weak. Okay, 60-minute chart, the pivot high is 22.63. Currently trading 22.63 after hours at the moment. Okay, we have an unfilled gap below at 22.38. Certainly it remains open. We've failed to make new highs. Again, certainly is a, a bearish sign. So again, looking for weakness from the, uh, the actual U.S. markets. But having said that, bear in mind, you have a whopping 2.5% rally in the Nikkei. Now, in terms of the European markets at the moment, the way they stand, the DAX is minus 15 points. CAC is uh, actually uh, flat to stroke, stroke negative. Uh, the FTSE 100 is, is the only index that's really flat and potentially higher. Okay, your IBEX under pressure. FTSE maybe Italian higher. And the stock 600 is uh, weaker as well. Now, in terms of economic data today, let's just bring up the data for you as well. Okay, so uh, data itself, we had Spanish PMI employment data stronger, French, French consumer confidence stronger, PMI, German PMI stronger, UK construction stronger, UK mortgages stronger. On the negative side, we've had uh, earnings with reform next, certainly on the weaker side with a stock down 10%. Italian PMI weaker, you've had inflation readings in Europe, certainly stronger and therefore negating the, uh, the uh, possibility of any future uh, increase in QE, if anything, arguing for tapering, and therefore you're looking at a stronger euro. A stronger euro definitely is considered to be negative for the actual equity markets. And you can see that here, okay, certainly see that here on the euro, certainly breaking this downtrend line, certainly arguing for a potential rally higher. Now, in terms of uh, the uh, economic calendar and a potential move higher for the euro USD, it certainly will be dependent upon the FOMC today. Okay, so FOMC minutes later today, again, that will be important. Obviously, if they're more hawkish than expected or more dovish than expected, that will obviously affect the euro. We have API crude data as well. So, again, that will certainly impact the price of oil. Now, talking about oil, let's just bring up the chart of oil for you. Okay. So, 55, 
certainly 55.5 or 55 certainly has been rejected on oil as you can see here certainly uh, arguing for a weak price bear with me okay so oil prices at the moment certainly looking very weak double top certainly confirmed at 55.2 okay so again looking for a move lower on the price of oil from my perspective is consolidating here you have a massive hns formation on the price of oil and therefore indicating a potential move lower you can clearly see here left shoulder obviously the head's gone in at double top now looking for right shoulder and looking for a potential flush lower so certainly looking for weaker equity prices going forward that's my interpretation that's my expectation as well okay now in terms of the actual equities let's see exactly where they stand the german dax at the moment certainly has bounced that potential pivot low uh, again no higher high in the dax so again looking for a weaker uh, price or move in the german dax again if we do potentially go higher then your horizontal resistance levels are there to certainly stop it in its track so so looking for a move lower on the german dax given the fact that we've uh, failed to make a higher high 60 minute chart as well certainly is, is certainly retracing to a large extent but the next potential move from my perspective really is going to be lower low given the fact that we're making a series of lower lows and lower highs here now okay so looking for a move lower okay and the german dax Daily chart, German DAX at the moment certainly has stalled, okay? Ever since we closed this gap here, if I just zoom in for you, you can see gap fill here at 11.610, and your horizontal resistance at 11670 we've certainly stalled. Okay, now moving on to the FTSE 100 here, we have the H&S formation in the 10-minute chart. We are looking for a potential flush led by weaker oil. Sterling certainly starting to build a base, also with regards to the EU convoy potentially quitting and a hard Brexit certainly seems very highly likely now, okay? Uh, in terms of <clears throat> the FTSE looking for a flush lower on the h &S formation in the 10-minute chart, 60-minute chart, you have a failable flag with a topping tail certainly registered along with European equities. And the daily chart of FTSE 100 certainly is uh, above the key breakout level, but we do have an unfilled gap left behind at 7115. In terms of the CAC 40, again, you have the same sort of formation, a h &S formation down into gap fill, certainly playing out to a large extent. You are now potentially coming into support though, so be watch out for potential support here in this juncture. Okay, any flush lower, you are looking at the next support at 4850 on the French CAC. Okay, I think that'll be a good summation for today. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.